War is Over is an Oscar-winning animated short film that Electra League did in partnership with the Lennon Estate, which is Sean Lennon and Yoko Ono, and it pays homage to John and Yoko's kind of famous song, Happy Christmas, War is Over. So Electra League was formed in 2020 um, with my partner Dave Mullins and myself. The whole idea behind Electra League was to approach animated filmmaking in a more efficient manner. War is Over was like this perfect opportunity for Electra League to build a proof of concept around our real-time workflow. Instead of storyboarding stuff and, and iterating that way, we go to the performance capture stage and we have editorial right there with us. So that day of the shoot, we know what we got. Once we've done what we need to, we pass it over to Weta for them to put their magic and wizardry into the process. The filmmakers came to us with an interest in real time. They're looking at ways of you know, developing their projects efficiently. So we used Unreal Engine as the primary ecosystem for the short. All of the upstream asset creation, modeling, and animation is typically happening in Maya, leaning on our proprietary tooling. But then all of that upstream content flows into Engine, and that kind of becomes the, the sandbox and the ecosystem for bringing it all together, structuring the shots, all of the lighting, all of the rendering. A lot of the effects were actually kind of authored in Engine as well, and that really becomes the home and the hub of all of that work. The single biggest challenge for this project was always to try to create a, a unique visual painterly style. From the very onset, we were kind of a bit overwhelmed by it, but it's exactly why it makes it the most exciting. We're very used to being delivered a very painterly piece of concept art. And in this case, we have to figure out how do we preserve that and translate that into a living, breathing concept painting. But obviously the art kind of express things that didn't necessarily fit a, you know, perfectly coherent sort of spatial world. For this, we created a blueprint which enabled the artist to realize the nuances of that original concept art. For example, we produced the sky rig, which uh, enabled us to realize the complexity of both the skies and the lighting um, from the concept art. This meant that we would actually have to have a sun be illuminated the skies, um, also a separate one, which would illuminate the characters as well. I think the, the line work was a key part of the, the visual that, that Dave really wanted to be able to art direct. Uh, we combined three different techniques for that line work, uh, some of it pre-modeled uh, ribbons that were created when the assets were built. We had a Houdini process that would give us uh, some curvature analysis of the wardrobes to give us these dynamic lines. And then we had these kind of Fresnel-like outlines that would sit around the edges of characters and assets. And we would bring all of that into engine and then have a bunch of parameters sitting in Unreal that we can manipulate through the materials, controlling the noisy quality of the lines, the thickness of those lines, the offset of those lines from the surface, allowing the artist to fully art direct down to the individual kind of shot level as required. I remember it very clearly. There was a day where they showed us kind of the first test and Dave and I were literally high-fiving. We, we knew at that moment that this was gonna be something great. The most fun from this project for me was just the creation of Icarus, the pigeon. We did still go through and make sure that we used morphologically sound feathers that are physically accurate. From those, we were able to bring in the data in Unreal to make sure that the pigmentation patterns, for example, were easily created through a shader that would take in the data from the quills as well as the ramus from the feathers and recreate the look that we ended up with. Most of the time, to be honest, artists were iterating by just simply rendering on their own machines. Rendering was that quick. This was um, something which was they weren't used to um, coming from a traditional pipeline and they absolutely loved it. We're continuing to see rapid advancements in the real-time space and, and Unreal Engine in particular. You know, the company is even starting to adopt that technology for rendering tentpole visual effects films. So we're continuing to see tighter integration of real-time and visual effects. I'm enormously proud of this project. The end result is a beautiful short film. It was an amazing team to work with. We've learned so much about how to put a project like this together. 
I can't have been happier to have been involved in it. What Weta did for this project was beyond Dave and I's wildest dreams that obviously ended up with us winning an Academy Award as a, as a team. <laughs>